Today, I'm sharing with you a detailed video on how to make our new rainbow surprise card. What a fun, interactive way to send a little surprise to your friends. Let's gather a few supplies, starting with our bright and beautiful stamp set, the perfect greetings for any rainbow project. Next, you'll need the rainbow surprise die. You'll need the stitched cloud for the front of the card and our new cloud envelope. The colors for today are Cherry Kisses, Cheeky, Blush, Melon, Citrine, Julep, and Cobalt. We're going to start by die cutting the base of our rainbow pop-up. Let's start by cutting three pieces in a white cardstock, preferably 80 to 100 pound. You want it to be able to be easy enough to fold, but not too bulky so it doesn't fit in your envelope. This will create the accordion base for your little rainbow stripes. There are three sections which will glue together and trim a little off the third. Now grab that little rainbow stripes piece and I'm going to show you how to make a template that allows you to line up those stripes perfectly every time to make your project look clean and professional. I recommend a little bit heavier cardstock to create this template. You're simply going to run that through the die cut machine and when you bring that out, remove the die and all the little pieces from the frame. Once you've removed all those little pieces, you've created a template. This will help you line up all the stripes on each of the sections, making sure your project turns out. It's such a great way to really help you be more successful as you're creating this project. Next up, you need to grab yourself some press and seal. This acts as a transfer tape, allowing you to really make sure your pieces stay put while you're assembling so that you can line it up perfectly when you're done. I do wanna point out that you need to make sure you add this to the top side of the die cut. Then you're going to flip it over so that when you lay in your pieces and transfer that to each section, they'll be right side up. From a crafter's perspective, it's likely the greatest invention of our 21st century. I'm sure you'd all agree. Next, you're going to be die cutting each of the colors you've chosen in the rainbow spectrum three times using that stripe die. Now to keep those in place as you die cut each section, you'll want to put a piece of press and seal over the top before you move on. The reason you need to do this is to ensure that you don't lose the order of the stripes because each section is a different size and will lay in the sections differently. And when you're done, it will look something like this. Now do this for each of the seven colors in your rainbow. Now start by adding these to the top and then working your way down the template, alternating colors, however you choose. And we're just going in rainbow spectrum, starting with red and working down to our blue. You really wanna make sure there's no overlap in that center area. You don't want any overlapping when you attach that to the base of the rainbow. Now just continue adding each of the colors to your little rainbow. Make sure you give everything a good press so it's nice and secure in the template, ensuring that it lines up straight. Now I'm going to share with you the trick on how to line this up perfect every time. You actually want to make sure that you fold over that little flap so that you can see where your edges of the stripes will line up to the base. Let's add some glue. I prefer using liquid glue so that there's not any sticky tape in between the stripes. It's just easier and looks better. Now take the front side of the base and put it down at about a 45 degree angle, making sure you have centered that from the top and bottom so it will line up perfectly. Gently let that down and adjust as needed on the right side holding in place and really smoothing that out until the glue dries. Now 
I really go over each stripe making sure they're securely glued to the base of the rainbow. Now here's for the good part, peeling away that press and seal. You can really see that color pop and it's just so fun. Then you're going to peel away that template, keeping it for your other two pieces. Then you'll fold that in half and you can see that that lines up perfectly. And then you'll repeat this process two more times so that you have three panels. Once you have all three sections, let's get those glued together using some liquid glue on the flaps, aligning those carefully, making sure those colors match up perfectly. Now you've created the fold out for your rainbow card. Now go ahead and fold over that flap and you're going to attach that to the die cut cloud for the front of your card, making sure you glue that securely at the top just so it doesn't show when you turn it over. Next, we're going to trim off a little bit of that third section to accommodate for that shaker cloud. Now let's go ahead and make that shaker so you can attach it to your rainbow. Using the outline and the solid cloud from the rainbow surprise die, you're going to die cut an acetate piece, a base white, and five outlines. You'll simply add a little bit of glue to each of those outline pieces, creating a thick piece of cardstock. You want this to create your shaker shadow, allowing some depth for those sequins or beads or paper confetti would be so cute too. Now attach that to the base of the white cloud. This creates the perfect little shaker that you can add your own filler. I like little sequins. I just love how shiny and bright. It'd be so fun to add in some gold too. Now add those filler sequins or paper confetti. Add some glue to the outline edge then you're going to lay the acetate, not the outline piece, down on top, securing in place, making sure those edges are nice and glued, and then you'll add that finish outline piece to the top of your shaker. Finishing it off, now it's ready for a little greeting. I'm just adding a stripe of glue. You could use some double stick tape here as well. Secure that in place where you want. Let that dry. And then let's go ahead and create the front of the cloud. I'm using the Hello from the Rainbow Surprise die. And then I'm die cutting that from our glitter paper. And then peeling that away, I'm going to add some glue so we can attach that to the front of the cloud. Now this creates just a little bit of shine and dimension below the color hello that I'm going to die cut and attach next. Now I'm going to attach that to the center and then peel away the press and seal, removing the centers of my letters. Now using that same hello die, I've die cut them from a few of the colors from the rainbow. Then I'm going to glue those in place, offsetting just a little bit up and to the right, creating a glitter shadow for the word. This is so fun in person and adds just that extra touch of sparkle to your card. Now it wouldn't be complete without a little extra sparkle and shine using some crystal confetti, our favorite addition to any project. You could pick any of the greetings from our bright and beautiful stamp set to finish off your card. We're just adding the little sending rays of joy stamp. I'm going to use our black ink, ink 
pick up that stamp and stamp that down to the pre-die cut coordinating piece. I prefer doing it this way. I find that I have more success. Add a little glue to your shaker window and attach that greeting to finish off your rainbow card. Now fold up that cute little rainbow accordion style and it's ready to fit inside of your cloud envelope. Now go ahead and grab our cloud envelope die. You're going to cut one large and two of the small. Using some sticky tape, we have tear tape in the shop. We love this stuff, it's super easy to use, especially making envelopes. Peel that off each side and then line those up. I like tucking it under the front side, aligning the corners perfectly. You should use a bone folder when you're using white cardstock just so that they don't get dirty. Then add a little sticky tape to the inside flaps again, securing that base, making the perfect little cloud envelope for your rainbow. The finished size of this little envelope is three by four, so it fits note cards too. I like to burnish those edges, making sure they're nice and smooth. Now fold that up accordion style, tuck it in your envelope, and you have the perfect surprise for your friends. Thank you for joining me for this detailed video on how to make our new rainbow surprise card. I hope it brightened your day.